Hi YouTube, today I'm gonna show you my bike studio. But first, let's go make some coffee. So we'll start from this wall. This is obviously all still kind of a work in progress, but I think it's good enough to show you guys. I just have my ski stuff and like winter AC uh, in this corner because you know, now it's cold, but it'll be too hot at some point. Got my rollers and the uh, bike rack that I put in the car to go to races. Also my racing wheels. And this is the messy corner. So we'll move on from this real quick. Then here in this pile, I have all kinds of stuff from uh, bike parts to painting materials and just other random stuff just trying to keep it organized then we move to the charging station and the drill station so here I'm charging all kinds of stuff from drill batteries to lights and whatnot and then of course these are my drills for doing all kinds of stuff that probably aren't bike related uh, we got our little steerer tube cutter here that I have actually used quite a bit to, you know, slam that stem. Then this is my workbench. So on the workbench, it's kind of a mix of everything. I'll just show an overall. It has all different kinds of tools from bike tools to more traditional tools, if you will. All kinds of like screws and glues and things. Then in the drawers, we have, again, more traditional normal tools that I use for carpentry and stuff like that. And then we got the more bike focused tools. There's some missing that I need to get, but right now this fulfills my needs and is um, all that I really need. Um, can keep going through it and just more. We kind of, um, you know, go between traditional tools, bike tools, traditional tools, bike tools. This is um, new parts ready to be put on bikes. And then here is, is my uh, carpentry tools. Then on the little drawers, we have some cables, the I2 chargers, that kind of stuff, receipts. We've got all the sanding stuff. We've got Bob in the way. Move. Screws and uh, chain rings and little bike stuff. And finally, um, just more bike parts, tubes. Uh, group sets, stems, and cables, and stuff like that. And here we got all my cam cameras and uh, GoPros, DJI, that kind of stuff. Whoops. That's kind of the workbench. We got some some clamps here for some, you know, carpentry or pump that needs to be replaced because it's really died recently. And then our park tool workbench with a little Amazon seat that works great. My uh, Zwift setup, so here in the Zwift corner, we have right now my road bike, which is where I've been doing most of my training uh, daily, really, uh, with the training wheels and everything. This is where I'd put my computer with Zwift. Got my iPad to watch, you know, some shows, keep it entertained on those long Zwift days. Got my little Lego here. This is, you know, a part of me. And then, some books, another little Zwift station in case Caitlin wants to join or someone else wants to come. So I just pull out this trainer, put their um, iPad or computer or whatever here, and we can have two people Zwifting at once. Then over here, starting with the helmets on top, TT helmet, um, and just like all kinds of road helmets and ski helmet. Then we have, thanks to 100%, Awesome sunglasses for both skiing, my cycling, and Caitlin cycling. And then here, just the boxes for those sunglasses and stuff like that. And then in the bottom, we have all kinds of uh, cleaning tools and lubes and all that kind of stuff to make sure that the bikes are all looking nice. And then on the side of this wall, I have um, just all my cycling shoes from my uh, fixie shoes to normal road shoes and then 
of course the mountain bike off-road shoes. This whole side of um, the studio here is more uh, camping stuff. So like bike packing or just regular, regular camping, we have all kinds of bike bags, you know, tents, you know, little things. I don't know, just everything is here. Got a cooler and just more bike bags over there than me. Randomly kind of have a little coffee machine here that we had in our previous house and now it's just here. So maybe if you come over in the summer, I'll make you a coffee in the studio. This wall is a work in progress. As you see, it's still a little bit dirty, but we're gonna get there. It's just memories from my career of just amateur sports. So this was actually my first ever uh, fixie crit, which was a big moment for me. This was my first time at Red Hook where I was um, pressed. I was just there with uh, my team. And then this was my first Twilight uh, crit, which is the lo big local crit that is a lot of fun. Then my triathlon career, where I qualified for the, the 70.3 World Championships and then going to the 70.3 World Championships. My first um, big win here in Idaho, where I won the Cat 3 State Championships. And then just 2022's gravel races and the little award from it. Of course, we can't forget winning the Abu Dhabi Fixed Crit Series in 2021 was awesome. And we've got also some little uh, race numbers that I need to put up and I can't figure out how because they're cloth. So if you know an, a way for me to put these cloth numbers on the wall, comment below. Finally, we've got the bike wall. So this is all of our bikes, mine and Caitlin's. And I'll just run you guys through all of them, skipping this little project here will just be a little tease and that's as much as you get. But the first bike is this one. This is my racing fixie. So this bike has gone all over the world and done all kinds of races. It is a Kingdom Elska that I myself designed and it has just the parts that over the years I've fine tuned to fit me best. Um, it has speed play pedals, which is a detail that is different from all the other bikes just because it's kind of like a secret and fixed racing to clip in fast and, and just start you know, racing fast, I guess. A very lightweight bike and just lots of memories on this thing. So then here we have my TT bike. This is a recent acquisition and a bike that I've been really loving. I've never been a TT kind of guy, but recently I've been training a lot and this has made me really fast. It's again, a work in progress. I have some big plans for this bike soon, but as of right now, um, this is the Canyon Speedmax CF of this year, 2023. Um, it is carbon. I stole Caitlin's gravel wheels because they're the only 650B carbon wheels that we have. And this bike only takes 650B wheels. It's a one by with the rotor uh, crank set and power meter that um, has one single oval ring. And yeah, it's just really fast. And I've been really loving this bike. On to the next one, another fixie. So this one is the first one of Caitlin's. This is Caitlin's commuter bike, also a Kingdom. This is the Askel model. Again, something that I designed when um, Kingdom was around and this was just made for Caitlin to be the most comfortable possible going on local rides to the coffee shop and stuff like that. It's got this nice comfy Brooke saddle, these um, comfy wide handlebars and just a big and nice freewheel and just an unbreakable single speed bike. On to the next one. Next one, this is my commuter track lacrosse bike. So this is the bike that I um, will use mostly for, again, commuting to coffee shops and stuff like that. But also I have it set up with cyclocross tires so that I can take part in some cyclocross races in the upcoming season. It is fixed, which technically makes it a track lacrosse bike. This is just a really fun bike. It's the same model as Caitlin's. It's the Kingdom Askel that again, I have designed and it's just the, another unbreakable bike that I love to have. Last two, this is Caitlin's last bike. Doesn't have air in the tires, but this is her main bike. It's her gravel bike that um, she uses for literally everything, has done races all over the country, and it's just an awesome little bike. Uh, this is the Cannondale Topstone, that is an aluminum 
frame with carbon fork and um, some little carbon parts. It's quite lightweight. One by with some nice mountain bike gears in the back. 650B wheels, and I believe these are 45 millimeter tires, so quite the setup. And the last bike. Last bike, my mountain bike that I acquired at the end of last year. This is the uh, specialized chisel comp. Been really loving this bike. I haven't had a mountain bike in years, but I've been really fine tuning this specific bike to me and just doing some cross training and uh, changing it up from being on the road so much. I've definitely enjoyed this more than I did when I had a gravel bike and I have great plans and I'm very excited to ride more of this in the future. And that's kind of it. Thank you guys for coming along on my little tour of my up and coming stu bike studio, if you will. You'll be seeing a lot of videos made here in this coming year and I hope you guys enjoy it.